Hi guys, it's Kamil here and I'm coming to you with a short review of The Only Story by Julian Barnes. Julian Barnes is one of the writers that I appreciate the most and his earlier novel, The Sense of an Ending, winner of the Booker Prize in 2011, I wanted to say 2018, is one of my favorite novels ever written. And I won't be building a suspense and I already say that the reason why one of the reasons why I like The Only Story so much, his 2018 release, is its close resemblance to The Sense of an Ending. And not so much in the plot itself, but in a way Julian Barnes examines time and the memory. Two main ideas in The Sense of an Ending, which are constantly referred in The Only Story too, to its advantage especially with the focus on how they affect storytelling. And already in the second paragraph we read But here's the first problem. If this is your only story, then it's the one you have most often told and retold. Even if, as in the case here, mainly to yourself. The question then is, do all those retellings bring you closer to the truth of what happened or move you farther away? I'm not sure. One test might be whether, as the years pass, you come out better from your own story or worse. To come out worse might indicate that you are being more truthful. On the other hand, there is the danger of being retrospectively anti-heroic. Making yourself out to have behaved worse than you actually did can be a form of a self price So I shall have to be careful. The only story is a love story. Julian Barnes seems to be the one to claim that this very special relation that we had with other person is the only story worth telling. This is the relation that mend us and reshaped us that affected how we live going forward. But knowing Barnes, uh, you should expect that his way of telling a love story won't be a fluffy pink blanket with teddy bears holding hands. It will be quite grounded with all social implication that a romance of 48 years old woman and 90 years old young man will face. And this is a relationship that is depicted here in this book, the relationship of Susan and Paul. Barnes divides this novel into three parts and leads the narration aside of the third part, mostly in second person, where his narrator Paul refers to reader constantly. There's always a thread in my mind that this type of narration will sound indulgent, but Barnes never does. Uh, he turns Paul's testimony in a tale of Paul's relation with Susan, married to abusive husband. Barnes' writing is often severe, short, delivering pivotal story-wise sentences in a cold, breathtaking manner. The ending, and this is not a spoiler, as Barnes narrator will often refer to you sharing what future might bring. This ending uh, is very sad, human, showing how the passage of time, the time we spend here on this planet, affects who we are and how we feel, how much we are capable to feel. As unromantic as it sounds, it's beautiful in its, I wouldn't say disillusionment, but it's realism. I was very impressed with this book. The writing with every band's book gets better and better, I believe. He's master of a word and this was brilliant. If you haven't read this one or this one or this one, Arthur and George, or this one, you are missing out. I really, really think that Julian Barnes is one of the best writers living. Okay guys, tell me if you read The Only Story, tell me if you read any other of Julian Barnes' books. I would love to talk about them with you down in the comments below and... Yeah, I'll get back to you soon with another two reviews that I have to, that I want to <laughs> record before I'll be able to record the future classic tag by Eric. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye bye.